Today I'm going to show you some cool creatures, starting off with the ringtail lemur. When competing for women or other valuables, the male lemurs will start stink fights with one another. These little guys have scent glands on their body that produce a foul odor, and when a stink fight starts, they'll run their tails through the glands and then flick their tail to send the stench at their opponent. Now just like in League of Legends, the stinkiest male is the one who wins. These fights usually last until one lemur can no longer stand the smell of the other and gives up. Sometimes, lemurs will try their ability on humans, but luckily for us, our noses are not sensitive enough to pick up the smell. At number 7, I've got the Hydra. This tiny little creature has constantly renewing stem cells, basically making it immortal under the right conditions. It does this cool thing too, where it rips open a hole in its own head to eat food, since it doesn't have a real mouth. It only gets number 7 though, since it's tiny and it doesn't really do much. Next up, we have the Alpine Swift. And you can think of these dudes as the reddit mods of the bird world, because of their innate hatred of touching grass. But unlike a redditor, these birds are actually pretty cool. They can stay in the air for 10 months straight, eating, sleeping, and mating, all without ever touching the ground. They don't just have endurance though, they're also really fast, sometimes being clocked at over 100 kilometers an hour. Now this is fast, but it's not nearly as fast as you guys running to the comment section to tell me I'll never be as good as Salmonella. At number 5 is the archer fish. These fish hunt insects above the waterline by squirting glass of water at them. They're able to shoot with incredible accuracy, hitting moving targets up to 5 feet away. But what I find most interesting about these guys is that researchers have trained them to recognize and shoot at specific human targets, meaning if you manage to piss one of them off, it's possible they'll remember your face and hunt you down. Next up at number 4 is the Alaskan wood frog, aka the piss boy. These frogs get their nickname because they hold in their pee for 8 months while hibernating. Now this isn't just some weird fetish, because during the winter the frog's brain, heart, and bloodstream all stop as the frogs freeze. No worries though, the frogs have special gut microbes that recycle their stored pee into nitrogen, which keeps their cells and tissues alive. In the winter, their body temperatures can get as low as negative 18 degrees celsius, but despite being entirely frozen, their pee nutrients keep them alive until they thaw out in warmer weather. So now we're on to the top three, and starting off the list is the African dung beetle. Now dung beetles are commonly known for being the strongest insects in the world, but they're also expert navigators. They operate at night and use the light from the moon and stars to orient themselves for navigation. And on a clear night, the beetles will move in a straight line to their destination. But if there's clouds in the way, they kind of just get lost and stumble around. Since they're so low to the ground, in order to get a better view of the sky, they'll climb on top of their ball and spin around a bunch while looking at the stars. This kinda makes it look like they're dancing, so the dung beetle gets third place for its sweet moves, being jacked, and its cool way of navigating. In second place, we've got the Lancet Liver Fluke, also known as the Zombie Flatworm. This parasite starts its life as an egg nested in sheep or cow poop. A snail then comes along and starts munching on the poop, eventually eating the egg with it. At this point, the snail becomes the first host of the parasite, where the larva then hatches in its gut and makes its way out in the snail's slime. At this stage, things get freaky. An ant will come along and eat the snail's slime ball along with the parasites. One of the worms will then make its way to the ant's brain while the rest wait in the stomach. Once in the brain, the worm takes over the ant's motor controls and forces it to climb to the top of some grass and lock its jaws. The ant no longer has control over its own body, so the parasites will force the ant to repeat the process of latching onto grass until eventually a cow or sheep eats the grass along with the ant. Now, while inside of its third host, the parasites will reproduce and eventually their eggs will be pooped out and the whole process repeats. So before we move on to our last creature, I want to show my picks for the honorable mentions. First, we got the Jesus Lizard. There isn't much to this dude, but he uses his webbed feet to run on water. Nothing too crazy, but I like his name. Next, we've got the Peregrine Falcon. And just like the lizard, there's really not that much to these guys. They're just fast as hell. They've got a top speed of 240 miles per hour, which makes them just a bit slower than a Bugatti Chiron and not worth putting on this list. Lastly, we've got the Silver Ant. If their colony ever floods, these ants will group together to form a raft out of their own bodies. Their raft isn't just randomly formed though. Each ant has an assigned seat that they will always return to in case of another flood. There's also this thing called the immortal jellyfish that can revert back to the start of its life cycle if it gets injured or too old. From the starting phase, they can create identical copies of themselves and continue living. This technically makes them immortal, 
but they end up dying of disease or getting eaten by predators all the time, so it's really not that cool. Now, if the immortal jellyfish really was immortal, that would be pretty sick. But it still wouldn't be as cool as Little Snake. I mean, look at this guy. Look at how cool he is. Anyways, moving on to the coolest creature and the last one on this list, we've got an absolute freak of an insect, the assassin bug. These little psychopaths start their weird death ritual by hunting specifically for ants. Once they've found a victim, they jab their straw-like mouths through the ant's body and then use their poisonous saliva to liquefy its insides. With the ant now dead, our little freak of nature sucks out the soupy insides and then glues the ant's dead body to itself. Apparently, it does this to confuse its predators, and it actually works. The bug will repeat the process of attaching dead ants to itself until it's fully covered, and then it will stop hunting ants entirely and move on to other insects. Scientists found that bugs who didn't use the ant technique were 10 times more likely to be attacked by spiders. So now you know if you want to stop getting bit by spiders, you just gotta wear a hat. Made of dead bugs. So that ends today's video. I'm Sad Catman. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. But remember, your chances of getting shot by a fish are low, but never zero.